Nicole, a dynasty fell to cap off a great weekend of football. West Jones halted West Point's bid at five straight state championships and shocked the state of Mississippi with a 33 to 27 win over the Green Wave. Let's hop into the highlights and see how we got there. And here's Chris Chambliss. Him in the green wave, they were going for that bid. Not only five straight state championships, but a state record 12th overall program title. But Wes Jones just wouldn't lay down and let them roll over them. The Mustangs launched out to a 20 to 7 lead behind a steady rushing and passing attack. But right before the half, West Point got a big break. Tyon Robinson stripped Kentrell Pruitt. Kanan Daniels scoops it, and he had nothing but green in front of him. Took it all the way to the house, spiked the ball right in front of me, actually. Got a 15-yard penalty for that, but he gave West Point some life heading into the second half. Now in the second half, this was the game we expected. The two teams trading touchdowns left and right. But a touchdown run by Kentrell Pruitt put the Mustangs up 33-27 to right at the beginning of the fourth. West Point had a chance to tie or take the lead. But on fourth down, Corbin Kelly's deep ball to Trey Ryland is just beyond his grasp. And that was the last chance for the Green Wave. The Mustangs win its first state championship in program history. Number 12 for West Point will have to wait. But something tells me that they will be back soon. And so live reporting from the field. But just this time. I decided to do it from the stands to get the fan perspective. Six games in two days, 12 communities traveled hours, some less than others, but some almost six hours to get to Jackson and show support for the men that played on this field tonight. A very special weekend. I was proud to be a part of it and be a part of the football season in Mississippi. Year one was an absolute blast, and the countdown for 2021 begins right now. I can't wait to see the coaches, the players, the fans, everybody for another season of Friday Night Fever starting next August. But for right now, reporting one last time in Jackson, Matt St. Jean, WTVA 9 Sports.